<laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, and surprisingly, I'm coming to you live from an ungated community near Lano, Texas, called an RV park. And uh, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow, right now. So if there's anything you want to do, you better be doing it. Or you'll wake up one day and be old like me. <laughs> How old is old? Ask a kid. They'll tell you the truth. Anyway, hey Google, what's the temperature in Lano, Texas? In Lano, it's currently 65 degrees. With a high of 77 Hey Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? The temperature in Fairbanks right now is 27 degrees. A heat wave with a high of 47. And just for the fun of it, since we do have people that leave comments from England, namely Davy Liss Clark. Hey Google, what's the temperature in London, England? In London, it's currently 52 degrees. With a high of 53. And a low of 33. Okay, so it's going to be cool. Anyway, thank you, Dave, uh, Davey, for your comment. I'll read it in a minute. Uh, what else? Uh, hey, Google, tell us a joke. How did the frog burn its tongue? It tried to eat a firefly. <laughs> All right. A wife said to her husband, I baked two kinds of cookie today. Take your pick. The husband replied, No thanks. I'll use my axe. <laughs> the bride said, The two best things I cook are meatloaf and apple dumplings. The groom said, Which is this? <laughs> oh, that's just cute. You know that got that off started off right. And then what else have I got here? For the noon vid today, I, well, let's see, I've got to do mail call because I've got some mail. That's one. And then I want to give you an update on the uh, RV. Why do I do my nose every morning like that? I do not know because it itches and I scratch it with my finger. But anyway, yeah, I may give you an update on the uh, uh, I may do it. What I might do is a noon mail call. That'd be different. And then I might do a beer 30 if I get a call from uh, the dealership in Seguin, Texas with the update. Because I did get a call, believe it or not, from Winnebago, the dealer rep. And uh, he said that, uh, yeah, they, they wouldn't start making them for a couple of months. But, uh, yeah, he gave me the price. The, the manufacturer's retail suggested retail price is forty one uh, six seventy nine, and uh, the dealers are not supposed to advertise it for any more or any less than thirty two nine. So, but be that as it may, uh, we'll see. I, I'd like to get one uh, for a fair price, and then I'll be good. And I will order one. Why? Because you know October will be here or whenever September. Uh, it's going to be here anyway. And then I've got to deal with the insurance companies. I've filed both claims. And uh, they're supposed to, I guess, do the next thing, like come by and check out my units. But anyway, guys, comments, right? So, uh, I'm an elder, says thumbs up, or doesn't say it, just has an emoji. Uh, hey, Google, what is an emo emoji? According to Wikipedia, emoji are ideograms and smileys used in electronic messages and web pages. Some examples of emoji are open mouth smile, man in lotus position light skin tone, globe, bread, car, phone, party popper, heart, eggplant, and checkered flag. Emoji exist in various genres, okay, including thank you. facial expression. Thank you. That's enough. Boy, you ask and you get, don't you? But anyway, moving right along. Ralph P. says, good morning, Rusty, and all well, as my grandmother would say, such is life. I think the goat agrees. The old stinking alien goat right here, the screaming, stinking goat from outer space. There's your kiss from the stinking goat. God, they stink. I raised them, man. Anyway, Davy Liss Clark, the reason I asked the temperature in England or London. Hey, Rusty. 
y'all get some extreme weather out there in the Big T. Keep your chin up and let the insurance company people worry. Stay safe from England. You're welcome. Thank you, Davy Liss Clark. This is Hang Fire. Dang, that's sure some huge hail there, man. Yeah, it was. How would you like to have it bouncing off your car and your RV? <laughs> anyway, Guardian Pet Care and Massage, Jim, who sent me some more stuff, food. Dang, that hail you got. That hell got you big time. Yeah, when it happens to new vehicles, it hurts a lot more. Hope the insurance company does right by you, sir. Well, I do too. You know, one of the things that the insurance company, even though I own both these vehicles, I have the title, the RV and the car, they don't want to give me the check. Okay? I said, well, why not? Well, you know, we, we, pay, we, we give the check to the person that does repair. And I said, well, no, you give me the check, and I'll take it and get it repaired. So I can see right now we got a real, particularly on the RV. No, they, they got a real, because I'm dealing with a woman. Uh, not that women are bad, but they can be difficult. All right. Anyway, Der Trixa, that's not good. In Germany, we have insurance against hail damages. How does it work in the USA? Greetings and good luck. How does it work in the USA? Uh, we, uh, we have insurance. It's called Comprehensive, which covers hail damage, tornado, high winds and stuff, and fire. And, uh, yeah, they, you know, whatever your damage is, they, they reimburse you, supposedly. CDL Lady 54, hail was predicted for Texas, Louisiana, blah, 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 at 7 p.m. You must have missed it. I don't watch the weather. Next purchase for you, emergency weather radio, and turn that Alexa and turn that Alexa do nothing thing off. <clears throat> well, you do you, CDL lady. I'm fine. <clears throat> no, the only problem with one of those weather things is at 2 a.m. it's going to tell you a tornado's in your backyard. And then what are you going to do then? Uh, CDL lady, will you have a parking cover for your car and trailer on your lots? No, I won't because I'm not going to put anything on the lots. Never get rid of a carport or land. Is God trying to tell you something? Hey, well, if he is, he needs to write it down. Because it's not coming through very clear. Skyler, how how was it so far on the RV home dehumidifier? I, I'm still using it. Works great for me. Yeah, that's yeah, it works. Craig W. Hunt, hell no. I might lose it if it did that to my new car. I think the roof is fine. The plastic is tough and hard to cut. Maybe the bass skylight could get damaged. Speeches. No, all the skylights did okay. <clears throat> yeah, the whole roof is fine, as far as I can tell. <clears throat> but I'm going to talk to him about the, I got to get the front windshield and the hood damage fixed on the RB. Paul S., I know you, Rusty. You'll take the lemons and make lemonade, which is great unless it's beer 30. That's true, Paul S. That's very true. Joseph Versace. Sorry to see this, Rusty. Wrong place at the wrong time. Or right place at the wrong time, depending on your point of view. Best of luck in getting through this setback, just one of nature's curveballs. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's true. You know, in life, as you go through life, it's just like a long highway, and every now and then there's a little bump. And sometimes there's a big bump. You know what I mean? But it's the way it is, guys. Just que sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. You know, the future's not ours to see, so que sera, sera. And that's kind of the way I am right now. Okay, set off. Little Kittle, here's some raw footage on YouTube of the hailstorm in Lano. I don't have to see that. He says, I even knew where the last shot was taken from as the We Build Cabin sign was right on the right where you went a few times. Uh, yeah, and across the street is Cooper's Barbecue. Yeah, well, thank you for the link, Little Kittle. Check it out later. Avalon Myth. OMG, I'm laughing again, and Sparky is totaled. I don't know. It, it may they may total it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they exactly all. What I'm not sure how that works, but they may. What are the odds? I mean, very interesting timing. Just say, it's just, just saying. Thank, thinking of you. Thank you, Avalon Mist. Yeah, well, you know, there's 25 other or 25 people <coughs> in this RV park, and they've all got damage. So you know, it wasn't like. And then down the road, there's another RV park with probably 80. RVs in it, and then there's houses all around. Everybody had damage of some kind. <laughs> James Carr, uh, wow, we missed that yesterday. Thank goodness we were sitting outside in Fredericksburg, and the wind started pulling northward. 
figured whether rough in Lano, on the way back from Lano, we took the Willow Loop, nice drive it was, hope no damage, that's the RVer's nightmare, hail, and, you know, all kind of stuff, but yeah, thank you. Karen R. says, Karen R says oh, no, no, that's true. Walter Pendleton, checking in and hope you keep your chin up. <laughs> Road Collector, yikes, yeah, I got that one. Uh, uh, this person's name is Finger Barbara. Well, we aren't far from the park, three blocks from the square. My car window, my car's window was broken the same as the RV, but the bottom center and also on, well, it says the edge of the driver's side, but it was, it was fun to watch. <coughs> anyway, thank you, Barbara. Anyway, uh, Irma Padron, smiling face, thank you. Karen R., so sorry for the damage. You did, it wasn't your fault, honey. Mike Brandenburg, I have seen a painless dent, paintless dent repair guy pull all those dents out. Yeah, well, you know, we'll see how it goes. I, I you know, but I, first thing I got to do is get these insurance to give me the check so I can take it anyway. Once we agree on a uh, uh, a price or a repair total, then uh, I want the check in my name only. I don't want it to me in a body shop or to me in an RV place. No, 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 because I, I may want to take it somewhere else. And if you get the RV fixed at a RV dealer, it's a month. Mark Babcock, crazy, Rusty. I've never experienced a hailstorm like that. Love your attitude, too. Can't holler at the weather. Hope your insurance company makes you whole. Well, we'll find out. The car is progressive, and the uh, uh, RV, I think, is National General. You know, does it matter? I don't think so. Clemson Bloke, sorry about the hail damage. Have been through those a few times. I hope you're able to get the insurance check quickly so you can get things squared away. Yeah, me too. We'll see, but I, 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 you know, I'm staying optimistic, you know, I have, you know, everybody's doing their job. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Jen, it could be the ice golf ball bounced down on the hood, then up to the overhang, then down again around the window, windshield. It could be, Jen, it could be. Sam Ben, thank goodness the goat wasn't outside. The old stink could have knocked him out. Yep, <clears throat> the old goat. You know there are uh, is it goats that are there sleeping goats or faint the fainting goats or sheep. Anyway, here we go. The stinking alien goat, screaming goat. So a kiss again. Sarah J. Definitely Jenner vodka tonic and hail ice balls. Or one of the one big one for a fine bourbon. I hope they total your car for you. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know exactly how that works. But anyway, thank you for your comment, Sarah J. Eli James. Hi, Rusty. How are you doing? I love your video and I love your car and RV and I love camping trips too. Well, Eli, thank you very much. Now back on the meds. <laughs> it's same comment every day, almost. Sheila Bundren got two. Wow, not good at all. At least you have insurance. Thanks for the update. Yeah, but I've got a thousand dollar deductible on comprehensive, so I've got to pay two thousand dollars. You know, Sheila Bundren again. Give us an update video afterward afterwards of the damages, if there is any. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, I did. I gave you a, an update. Ellen Mack. Ouch on the quality of life, cost. Yeah, well, you know, you just don't worry about it. Sissy Taylor. Maybe sun, pop over, and see on roof. Uh, I don't know. You know, my, Could my son fix it? I don't know if that's what you mean. Sissy Taylor, you'll keep Sparky, RV, yeah. Well, yeah, as far as, uh, you know, I'm not, you know, I haven't ordered anything yet. I'm, I'm talking to some people, and uh, we'll see. But I probably will, because if I order a Winnebago Mini 2500 FL, uh, it will not be ready for me to pick up till September or October. So I may go ahead and do that. And then if I change my mind before it gets here, the, they have a re refundable deposit. Ellen Mech, if you were married, you would drive your wife nuts with all your great next ideas. Probably. Same person. You just, you're, you just like the planning 
and talking about a project. After you have it, you're ready to move on to the next plan. You always have been. Well, I don't know about always have been, but, you know, hey, man, I'm 75, you know. And face facts, guys. If, there, if you want to enjoy your life, you got to do it your way, right? <clears throat> and, uh, you know, my way is my way. Clemson Bloke got two comments. Sounds like a popcorn popper, and I'm inside of it. Kind of like those old where wherever pop pumpers from the 70s. Yeah, well, it was kind of like that. Same person, you better get under something or you're going to have to sell that RV on the cheap. <clears throat> well, there was no place to get under. No, the RV, uh, the damage to the RV is minimal. Uh, the hood and the windshield, the uh, damage to the cars, the biggie. I mean, it's, it's it, it may be total. I don't know. Lorraine Daniels, dang, Rusty. Those are some big old good ones. Yeah, they really were. Uh, we'll do a few more here. Sanborn S. <clears throat> when we get these storms in southeast New Mexico, they can go on for an hour or more. Yo, this went on for about a total of uh, 20 minutes. Carl H., isn't weather great? Yeah, it's just wonderful. Tracy Phillips, wishing you, wishing you the best with the insurance companies. Uh, it'll all work out. You know, the okay, Sarah mentality. No, I, I know what I expect. And, and you know, I, I've been, I, this is not my first rodeo. Have I ever dealt with insurance companies before? Many times, many times. <clears throat> so I kind of know what to expect. Usually, I have to say this, usually the insurance companies are pretty generous, actually. I mean, I've, I've, I've never had any problems with them. <clears throat> anyway, Beverly, I saw the second video first when you went out and showed us all the damage. I wondered what it sounded like inside the RV. That's the biggest hail I've ever seen. The biggest hail I've ever seen. The biggest hail I've ever seen was pea size. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, well, you, I actually have been in it where it was the size of softballs out in West Texas and Alpine. <clears throat> yeah, I was staying at La Vista RV Park, and uh, the hail punched 22 holes in the roof, and six hailstones came inside the RV, hit the floor. <clears throat> That's pretty powerful. This is Lucille Hart. That's a lot of golf balls on the course, T. He. Yeah, you got it. Michael Morse. Oh, man, so sorry to see this. Hope you get a settlement soon. Yeah, you know, I would imagine by the end of this month, 1st of May, we'll be all right. Gary Mayo says, send that moisture to Terlingua. Yeah, <laughs> you need it, don't you, out there in the desert. Uh, film nerd Corey. Rest in peace, Sparky 2021. She was a hail of a car. Yep. Yeah, it was, you know, but, you know, we'll see. I'm going to get it fixed. You know, I'll get all the dents fixed and everything, and I may keep it. I like the car. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, some people actually put the money from the insurance company in the bank and don't get their car fixed, but I, I'll get it fixed. Why? Because I just will. My cat likes carrots. That's the person's name. Sounds like a Class C motorhome. Class C motorhome. I got it. Bro Brian says Rusty. Oh, hi. Hi, Bro Brian. Jeffrey Wooden. Rusty, there are guys who can take those dents out, call around. Some of those guys are very good. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, once I get the check from the insurance company, I'll check around, see what I can do. Mickey Davis, can you imagine what a hailstorm like that does to an Airstream trailer? Yeah, I thought about that. A lot thinner and more delicate metal than old Sparky. Yeah, well, anyway, last one here, WTBM123. Wow. <clears throat> could you tape your phone to a stick and look on the roof, probably see a little bit? I actually have a ladder. <clears throat> yeah, I got a ladder. I climbed up there and looked around, and it's okay. I don't see any problems there, and, and I had a, 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 a technician look at it. They were out here. They got a mobile technician. They got two of them that come in here and were working on RVs yesterday, and one of them went up there and gave me a, a response. But anyway, uh, that's it. So with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, from near Lano, Texas, in an ungated community, commonly known as an RV park, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Why? Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. You know, you just click on the link, go to Amazon, buy whatever you choose. Amazon takes care of me. Anyway, what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. 
it's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much. And then <clears throat> to keep the weight off, form the habit of eating less, smaller portions. You know what I mean? Put small portions on your plate and that's all you eat. That's it. That's all, you know, it's amazing we live in a country we got too much food. And then uh, what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds. Breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet. Do it several times a day. What else? Stretch. 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 Swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, 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 exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness is up here. <clears throat> it's all yours. You know what I mean? So add good ingredients. You know what I mean? Accent, oh, excuse me. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Why? Because it's the negativity brought to you by professional negative talking heads, and it gets in your head. And the next thing you go around, listen. Did you hear what they said on the news? You know. Anyway, enough said. You do you. I do me. What else? Uh, at ease. Carry on. Adios. Bye bye. Hasta luego. Vaya con Dios. Aloha. Until the noon video, which will be either a mail call, or whatever else I think of. Anyway, guys, enjoy your day. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.